Good evening everyone, welcome to another flight time video with me Andy, hope you're all doing well and uh, enjoying, obviously it's after the 12th of April so I'm guessing a few of you might have been out for a pint or gone to do some shopping. But uh, anyway, let's crack on with the video. So I've been asked uh, by a couple of people to do more buzzer videos just because obviously it's that time of year. So what I actually decided to do is I've decided to do a buzzer month. So I'm going to try and do, if I can, obviously my son's back at school now so I should hopefully be able to do some more videos. I'm going to try and get uh, two buzzer videos out a week for the next month and that way you've got a few nice buzzer patterns to use obviously April, May in my opinion are probably two of the better months for buzzer fishing especially May, absolutely love May for buzzer fishing whether you know people, some people might say they prefer April whatever, I prefer you know May is probably my favourite month for fishing the buzzers so anyway we're going to start off with this is actually quite a big hook, it's a size 10 some of the buzzers this time of year, especially the early season ones, are quite big. You know, you know, some of these buzzers are getting on for a centimetre plus in length, so uh, they're quite big um, buzzers. Anyway, ooh, I haven't put my thread that I need inside my bobbin. I was going to do it, but I didn't do it, but we'll do it. Anyway, the thread I'm actually going to be using for this buzzer is I want uh, maximum coverage with as least amount of thread possible, but at the same time being able to still do a neat fly. This is where your thread management comes into it. And what I mean by thread management is basically you don't do a turn of your thread unless it serves a purpose. And that's the way I kind of look at fly tying. So the thread I'm actually using for this fly is going to be some UTC in 140 denier in black. Very, very simple buzzer this one. Now what we're going to do, we're going to start the thread at the eye. And we're just going to work our way down with this thread towards the back. I'm actually just going to trim off this excess here, just around about halfway down the shank. As you can see, I don't know if you can see the thread starting to get twisted. What I do is I spin the thread anti-clockwise because obviously I'm wrapping clockwise, so I'm spinning anti-clockwise to then loosen it. So I'm going to take this thread down. I'm actually going to slightly around the bend just to get that little bit of curvature. And now what I'm going to actually use is some black wire. This is just some uh, UTC ultra wire. I do actually have some other wire somewhere as well. I've got actually I've got different wire as well. This one's slightly thicker. I'll probably just use this one. This is the uh, trout line Perdigon wire in black. This is actually the point two, la, la, point two, I think it is. Or point one. Oh, can't remember exactly what size, but it's a thicker one. So what we're going to do? I'm just going to put the wire at the back. Just catch it in at the back. And all we're going to do is just take your thread back in touch and turns. Just keep your wire on exactly the same side as what you tied it in. Just use your finger to manipulate your wire exactly where you want it to go. And this way you'll keep an even body shape as you're taking your thread up. Just hoping the light's okay on there. Hope so. Fingers crossed. Can you do? Hopefully, hopefully everyone can see this nicely. Well, that didn't go to plan, did it, people? I'm the worst person ever on video. I'm not even going to cut this out. I'm going to leave it in the video for forgetting to tighten my vise properly. Okay, we're going to stop there because this obviously section here is going to be our thorax. Got a little bit of wire there, but that's absolutely fine. We're going to go over that. Next stage is you're going to use some red holographic tinsel. Now you're going to tie this in on the side. And just run your thread backwards slightly. This gets like a little bit of a taper in your fly as well. And then just grab your holographic tinsel and just wind this forward. Very simple. And then just catch it in with a couple of turns. And then trim off the excess. Very easy, very simple. Now you've caught that in with a couple of turns, but you don't want it to slip. So what you do is just do another couple of turns. And then grab your wire at the back end. And all you're going to do is just start winding your wire up. You can start off with thinner turns and get wide, or you can just do the same rib all the way up. So totally up to yourselves. 
and then just rip that forward until you get to the point where you tied your tinsel off. Just going to do a couple of turns and then fold it and run my thread down the hook shank. The wire does get in the way a little bit but it's fine. Once you've done a few turns you can then hold your thread tight, give it a wiggle and just snap off any excess. By the way, if anyone wants to give me a new vice, you're welcome, because this one's starting to get a bit old. <laughs> it just doesn't tighten as much as it used to. I think I might definitely, and I do definitely need to invest in a new vice. Okay, so, next step, what we're going to do is build up our head. So what I do with first, I try and get like um, an even playing field, so to speak, so I try and get this as level as possible, this thorax section. And then what I'll do is I'll go back to where I want my thorax to start, or my head to start, which is just where the um, tinsel ends. I'll then take it all the way forward to the eye. And what I'll do is I'll taper it, so I'll stop slightly short. Again, come back up to the eye, come back, stop slightly short, up to the eye, come back, stop slightly short. And then that way you get your, in my opinion, the, the better buzzer heads, which is like, slightly thinner and then fat right at the head and now grab your finish tool and then just take your finish tool do several turns actually using this like a thread to create that taper so i'm actually going backwards just to create that like slightly bulbous head and then pull it tight come in with a sharp pair of scissors and trim off your excess Now what I'm going to do next is I don't actually have, on this style of buzzer, you can put cheeks on it totally up to yourself. I don't actually put cheeks on these at all, no cheeks whatsoever. I leave them just pure black like this with a black head. I don't know why, it just, just works for me and I like this fly like this. What I'm actually going to do though is use my, this is actually a, a micro brush. You can get them off eBay, like a full thing of them. Just search micro brush on eBay if you want them. Really cheap. I'm going to get some Gulf um, Thinman resin. I'm actually going to put it on the brush. Just because I want this um, section down here to be segmented as well. So if I, quite often if I use, just put the, um, re, you know, the varnish on, sorry, resin on, without using the brush, it doesn't really, I don't get the segmented section very well. Maybe it's because I'm just crap, but it just doesn't seem to work that well for me. So I'm just basically going around the fly with the UV resin. And now I'm just going to have to try and get some of this resin out of my segmented sections just because I want that, still want that segmented kind of effect on the body. So as you can see there, I'm getting that segment back, nice segmented section for the body. I'm actually using a new torch today as well, I'm actually using the brand new Gulf Hero UV torch. So I'm now just going to come in and set the uh, resin on there. Fortunately I've been a little bit rough and there's a few little specks of the uh, white brush in there, but it's absolutely fine. Fish don't care and they're not going to see it. So there's that set nicely. Last but not least, as everyone sees me do, I like to use a coat of varnish over the top. I don't know why, I just always like to have a coat of varnish over the top of any UV resin flyer. It's just my personal opinion. This is just um, some Veniard um, brush coat varnish. I'm just going to brush that over the top. Nice and simple. And then that will settle in there and dry. Very, very simple buzzer, very, very effective. I do like this one. Um, works very, very well early season, especially when the, site, the buzzers are slightly bigger. And then as the season goes on, it's a very, very simple case of just scaling down your size, you know, going down to a 12, 14, and even a 16, perhaps in you know July and August, if your buzzer hatches are slightly, you know, your buzzers get smaller as the uh, season progresses. But uh, give this one a go. Very, very simple. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I will... Uh, 
see you on the next one. Thank you very much.